but it is unbelievable. It's it's the definitive version of electronic ITR reels. Mate, you, There's you nothing better. So many people have been talking about this. It is the new electronic rechargeable uh, yeah. IT reel, remote control, bells and whistles, does absolutely <laughs> everything that you'd ever need. Uh, IT reel from Joao Miranda and uh, presented by our buddy Tom Wright. So we've got a bit of a, a conflict yeah. of interest here, Wayne, because uh, <laughs> Tom's been uh, around our house threatening us, uh, saying yeah. uh, that we better give this a good review. But no, Tom, we're going to give it an honest review. <laughs> so what is it, first of all, without... I don't like saying too much, like so many review shows. I always feel a little bit uncomfortable. But it's an IT reel and it's electronic. And yeah. the first part of the tutorial, so you go to the secret area of Joao's uh, website and you're able to speak to Joao talking about how you set it up, how you set up this incredible gimmick, which is rechargeable. But it has different modes. It has play mode it has live mode and it has record mode so when you've got it in play mode that enables you to play one of the recordings <laughs> now you can record a whole set of animations which are accomplished using it so you can have a huge recording and vibrations that are going to cue you as to what's going to happen during this it animated recording where literally objects are moving before your eyes you yeah. can record that in record mode later you can play it in uh, play mode or in live mode you can control the strength of these it reels and these are electronic and there's two it reels that can either work independently or as a loop and that loop can be incredibly long and create probably the most amazing IT effects that you have ever seen. Like the effect- It's really up the game. It's really, really up the game here because none of this was, you wasn't in full control before of anything that went before this. You are literally in it's, it's unreal to be able to think that you are in control of certain situations, the speed of something falling over, the way that, the timing of when it is just crazy that you are in control of that. Now, I, it's, it's, oh, it's, it, it blows my mind actually with this thing. because I never thought you could ever do this. I never thought this would be possible. He spent a fortune. He has spent a he fortune. Spent, he has spent a fortune <laughs> on it. Like let's, like how much must the investment of this cost? It's absolutely credible. Incredible. I wouldn't like to even think. And it's funny. Myself and Wayne had a chat about what our favourite effects were yeah. before we went on air, and uh, quite funny actually. Both myself and Wayne, although we were incredibly impressed with how, like, the gravity ring, for example, you've got a <laughs> ring that's just floating and, like, almost like switching off a light is like you've switched off gravity and you click and it just drops in the glass. <laughs> and it's like for one moment it's floating and then click without snapping anything. It's under control. The gravity is just turned yeah. off. The spirit bell effect, the hell's bells, where during a card routine, the bell can just ring by itself. He's got this comedy routine with the, the sponge ball that looks like a yo-yo. Yeah. Uh, but the, the effect with the, I think it was called Exorcist, which is like yeah. the um, haunted deck, but on steroids, mm -hmm. where he puts the deck down on the ground. And it's crazy that, the, the cards, the, I think a card comes off the top first, then the cards cut, and then the spectator's card jumps out of the deck like Nick Einhorn spooked. Yeah. But all this is happening completely under your control. It's all recorded. And you're just literally hitting play and these things it's are happening. Mental, isn't it? <laughs> it is unbelievable. But 
we'll talk about the effects in a moment, what our favorite effects were, but I was watching all the tutorial and I watched it, the majority of it, there was, I saw it years ago, there was a, a chap, an Indian gentleman who's on the download with James Barrett George, the inventor of the ITR, and, and they're on talking about this uh, looped version of an ITR that they brought out about seven or eight years ago. And I yeah. remember we, myself and Craig Petty reviewed that when it came out. He goes through incredible effects with the loop, the hoop system, um, including like the linking <coughs> of the two elastic bands. That looks absolutely unbelievable. And uh, the gentleman on there goes through some unbelievable effects. But... I couldn't help thinking that in their marketing, they have missed the main strength of this reel. And I know Joel is listening to me right now and he's going, oh, my God, what have I missed out? <laughs> and I'm telling you now, the best thing about this reel that they're not telling anybody about in the trailer because they're showing all these bells and whistles things and all these incredible effects the number one selling point for me that is unbelievable about this electronic ITR reel that is under your control all the time is the fact that you have got an ITR plus a backup with the perfect tension all the time, no matter how much the IT is stretched out. Yeah. Because anybody that knows that's performed an effect like Spooked, for example, or Haunted Deck on the floor, they'll know that with a standard ITR, the further away that it goes away from you, if you try to do it on the floor, there is a point where you start to feel a little bit nervous. Just with the nature, the mechanics of an ITR, how it works, as you go further away from your body, that is the point where you're starting to go, oh, is it okay? Is it okay? Yeah. Mm. But the fact that now anything that you do with an ITR, you can do it under perfect tension, the same tension, no matter how far away you are from the gimmick to your anchor point, that for me is unbelievable. Yeah. I cannot wait to start going back to Spooked because I used Spooked for years. It was something yeah, that I did all the time. And then everybody started doing it and I decided to leave it behind. Mm. The thing that stopped me using Spooked so much was that uneasiness that I had when I went to do it. And all of a sudden, what happens to every IT worker happened. And it's because of that tension that you've got when you're just too far from your body. The fact that you've got a device which is capable of having two ITRs that work independently. Yeah, I know. One and a backup, but perfect tension each time in ITR mode. Yes, it has ITR mode as well. That's unbelievable. And that is something that's not shouted about enough with this project. Go on, Wayne, you tell them what your favourite trick was on the whole download. Mate, it's that, it's it's just that classic of it, I think. Uh, the, the pencil that moves across the table on its own, gets to the end of the table, but then you can command it to roll right the way back to you. And that, <laughs> the, the spectator can pick it up off the table. It rolls back towards me, and then they get to pick it up. I don't touch it, they get to pick it up. The reason that I'm brilliant. smiling, I don't know if you put it up on Instagram or Facebook, but I've seen you doing this at gigs. I know. <laughs> was, it a, was it a cigarette or a pencil? Yeah, uh, that, that I, I did it. <laughs> that was I've seen you doing part. it, <laughs> like going around yeah. with your thumb yeah, and then yeah, touching yeah. it. And the yeah. woman's going, oh, my God, this is incredible. <laughs> That well, was what, Insta. Yeah. <laughs> it is one of Tom's effects that is your favourite. I'm going to be in yeah. trouble with Tom in a minute when I say what I'm going to say. So, <laughs> oh, smiley, <laughs> just thinking what's coming up. <laughs> but you said now to have the ability to do this with a pencil and then the pencil roll back yeah. is like a game changer for you. And that's something that you're looking forward to working with. Now, I spoke to Tom yesterday and this is quite funny, genuinely. I, I swear on Blamo's life. I, I'm being so genuine here 
with the Wizard Magic Review viewers, even though Tom is a good friend of like 15, 20 years, my favorite effect on the whole project is when Zhao explains the bottle and he just takes a water bottle and he's doing nothing. He's got nothing in his hands. And after a short amount of time, the bottle just falls over by itself and immediately you are clean. You put that bottle down, you get them to concentrate, you can go like this and the bottle, plastic bottle falls over and you're completely clean, completely yeah. hands free and nothing. That for me, that is like a dream effect that you can put something down on the floor, get everybody to concentrate and then it falls over, it reacts and everything's clean in a kinetic timber style way. Now I, I spoke to Tom yesterday, I said we were gonna review it and I said, Tom, this is my, this is my favorite effect. And apparently this is what went on. Zhao said, oh, I really like this effect. I wanna teach this. And Tom said, that's not good enough. You can teach <laughs> that one. You can teach that one. I, I only want to teach the, the involved stuff and the really technical stuff. So and He's got a bottle falling over. <laughs> but for me, that's the bit. That is the trick that I think people will end up using this reel more in ITR mode. It's the simplicity the, of it. Just the simple animation yes. of what people are going to use. And although... Not everybody can be like Tom Wright and have a ring going D -d 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 floating <laughs> through the air like a, and then just switching off ga gravity and then leaving the room. Not everybody, not everybody's got the balls to do that. Yeah. But just putting a bottle down and it falling over and it being the best version out there to do that kinetic timber style effect with any borrowed object, that's unbelievable. We both agreed, uh, though, didn't we? That it's so strange that both working professionals in, in you and I have, have chosen the most simplistic piece of magic that you could do with such a technical piece of equipment. I, yeah. I thought it was very easy. It it's the simplicity of it all. And there is the extreme, the routine like seance where the coins and everything and the bottle and everything's moving on the table and Tom films it in like a Blair Witch style. Yeah. Thing. But if you're doing any kind of seance show like this, this literally could be the closer that has you, you have to have it. Yeah, if, if they you are doing that kind of show, yeah, you've got to have it. People are going to run out the room terrified if they yeah. see something like that. If you perform that at the end of a seance style storytelling presentation, it's going to be unbelievable. And all you're going to have to do is press play, which is mm. unbelievable. Look, it is a game changer. It's unbelievable. Um, for me, I'm not sure I'm going to use it every gig, every way. So it's not quite 100%, but it is unbelievable. It's it's the definitive version of electronic ITR reels. Mate, you, you know what? Better. It's sitting here. Uh, I know we spoke about it before, but I've just sat here and thought of something that I could do in my stage show with this that has now made me think, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this full marks. Yeah. Because I think I am going to be using it. Well, just I'm, then. I'm just going to give it right. I know that I'm going to end up trying it out. I'm going to use it. The ITR modes, a game changer for spooked. And I, I am going to go back to it. I'm going to give this 96%. 96 percent. Oh, exactly. Okay. 96. Only I do be, think well, it's brilliant, but I know. Oh. Unlike Calculon, I'm using that every single show from now on. Yeah, that's, I've got it. I've got to still. I might be letting you know that it's gone up to a hundred, but I've got to get to that point in my mind yet that it's it's worth that much for me. Right. Well, you it is unbelievable. Only, it's the, the kind of things that have just gone on that I could put in my stage show and even in my parlor show has made me think. Right, I have to get one of these now. So it is. You know what, mate? It's a hundred percent from me. It really wow. is. It, it is. An, um, it's the definitive IT device. It really is something you should aspire to own. I understand that because of the technology involved, it's a limited run. And uh, if that is indeed the case, I would absolutely get one just to have yeah. as soon as possible. 
it's something that you'll probably end up using at some point in your career. And I tell you what, the amount of downloads on there and routines that are being submitted by Joel and, jo and uh, Tom Wright is incredible. The amount yeah, of, of resources. On, there's so many things. There's, over, watch there's over a couple of hours, isn't there? You have to sit down and watch. I would over say a couple of hours. Two and a half to three hours of routines yeah. all taught. Literally, I was watching it all day yesterday. It's mm. unbelievable. And I think Tom Wright as well does offer if anybody wants to book in like a session with him to get over the steep learning curve, you can actually speak to Tom. And I think he's doing Zoom sessions with people that book in with people if you want to pay a little bit extra and learn directly from the creator. I think that's an unbelievable thing to be able to do. Yeah. So, yeah, I like the notes on this thing. Literally like two pages of notes of just all the stuff that is covered in this effect oh and ring slide as well the ring them <laughs> holding the pen them we're holding just, the pencil we're gonna go on we're gonna go them, on about this them holding the pencil and the ring just floating off the end in their own hands and everything's clean just in itr mode absolutely mm. unbelievable it's all about that itr mode and the mm. marketing is not telling you enough about it though that's mm. the only thing they've got wrong they're doing themselves a disservice. They didn't shout about that enough. That's yeah. the thing that's so clever for me that they've left out of the marketing because they're talking too much about all these bells and whistles effects that are going to put some people off. But unlike myself and Wayne, we still recognize the strength in those simple animations. Yeah. That's it this week for the Wizard Magic Review. Don't forget, if you're interested in checking out my new release, Pi Revelations, you can watch the full trailer and read all about it and get that free DVD only from worldmagicshop.com. Now, we'll be honest with you. We don't enjoy the Wizard Magic Review as much as when we're in person. It's very difficult to coordinate the time with Wayne, yeah. Sean, and myself. And it's not quite the same for us. It's we not. do try. We're trying to do one every Mate, single we don't, month. I, it, the, the Zooms are very difficult. We all want to get back to them. Where I want to go around to the studio with you. I want to sit down. I want to have some fun. We want to go for breakfast. We want to sit down. We want to get in. The, we want all this back. We want yeah. all this back. Zoom has been lovely. It's been lovely. But that's enough. <laughs> yeah. Like that is I, enough. The reason I'm saying this, I do have to apologize to Wizard Magic Review viewers, because uh, I do think we've let you down a little bit during this lockdown period, because we've got to be honest, we're, we're not as motivated to do it unless we can mm. meet up in person. The Wizard Magic Review for me, for Wayne, for Sean is about meeting up with your friends and talking about magic and having that experience, and we just happen to film it and we enjoy it because we're yes. friends. It is not the same for us on Zoom. I have to apologize. Last Wednesday, I had so many messages. Where's the Wizard Magic review today? Mm -hmm. And I didn't respond because I felt a little bit guilty. There was no Wizard Magic review because we don't feel the same about doing it while the lockdown is on. We're trying to put the effort in. We try to have the odd one here and there, and we'll continue with that, but we'll only get back to our routine when we're out of that mess. So apologies. Yeah. When we're out of this mess, we'll be back to normal. Apologies, we're not doing it. There are so many people doing Zoom and they're doing it better than us. There's so many review shows out there now since the Wizard Magic Review started. We do appreciate you watching, but we'd rather do it in our inimitable style when there's the three of us back together on the sofa in with the Blamo. Even Blamo won't come in here and do Zoom. Yeah. He's tired of Zoom. He wants he to sit in the garden. It. He hates it. He hates he Zoom. He wants, he wants to be in the garden licking water out of the pond rather than be on Zoom talking to the Wizard Magic Review viewers. But he is well. Thank you very much for all the messages that I've had saying, is Blamo okay? Because we haven't seen him. <laughs> he is okay. I'm taking him for a walk shortly. That's it for the Wizard Magic Review for this time. We will see you next time, and hopefully we'll be back together soon. We'll see you next time on the Wizard Magic 
review. What if we could do this with a number that neither of us could possibly know? Go to page 43. Uh, yeah. 17 lines down. 16, Nine across. One, two, three, four, see. five, six, seven, eight. No! 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 no. Pi is an infinitely long, non-recurring number. In theory, every possible string of numbers is in there somewhere, including pin numbers, passwords, dates, and random times of the day. Pi Revelations enables you to pick the exact location of 10,000 possible freely selected numbers in a dictionary test style reveal within the first 50,000 decimals of pi. The most fascinating number in mathematics now holds the key to unlock your spectator's mind. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with the number pi. Pi is a three, followed by a point, followed by an unlimited string of numbers. And what that means is that any combination of numbers you can think of will appear somewhere in pi. Now, believe it or not, somebody wrote a book which is pi documented to 50,000 decimal places. We couldn't believe it when we found this. It's just numbers. That's an easy wow. read. It's an easy read, absolutely. <laughs> now, using this book, we're going to show you something Marina can do called cognitive intuition. And it's incredible. I don't quite understand how it works. And then press plus. Uh -huh. Pin code that you used to use, or some kind of four-digit number that stands out in your head. Equals. Yeah. Do you have a number there, Marina? Go to the page 52. Oh. All right. Okay, you're on the page 52. Now count six lines down. Yeah. And from there, I three digits. See it. <laughs> I already no. see it. No, no. Yeah, is that the number? Yes. Marina, get the f out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the Martian? <laughs> I can see it. Well, How the f did you do that? <laughs> Guys, it's, it's impossible. This gets even better. That was a randomly generated number. Uh -huh. But what if we could do the same thing with a number that neither of us could possibly know? In this case, I want you to think of your uh, pin number. Okay. Page 43. All right, will you tell me the line? Line 17. Line 17. Now, the number of course? Ninth digit. Ninth digit. Page 43, line 17, ninth digit. Wait, for the first time, what is the four digit number you're thinking of? Three, zero, yep. one, zero. Okay, go to page 43. Uh, now I need to Anxiety. change anything. <laughs> My heart is racing right now. Yeah. 17 lines down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, plus eighteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. Nine across. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No! 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 Guys, this is really freaky. Yes. This is really freaky. Honestly. Oh my, oh my god <laughs> you have connected <laughs> with jonathan in a way we never would have expected wow. thank you so much thank you to pi